So for this, I'm just making a quick little video, just making sure everyone understands um, how to find the recursive and explicit equation for an arithmetic sequence. An arithmetic sequence is when you're either going to be adding or subtracting to get the values in your sequence. So for example, okay, let's say as an example, we have uh, five, um, nine, 13, 17, dot, dot, dot. Okay. And when we're looking at this, we see that in this particular problem, we are adding four each time. So we're adding four. That is our common difference. Okay. We call it our D. And now we're going to do two things. We're going to write a recursive and we're going to write an explicit. Okay. So the recursive is always the same format. F of N is equal to F of N minus one. And then you're going to do whatever you're doing to get each of these values. So in this case, we're adding four. So you're going to go plus four. That is how you do recursive. The one extra thing that you guys are going to need to give me is I need to be able to know what particular sequence of adding four. So this just says I'm adding four. I don't know exactly what the sequence is unless I saw it here. So I need to know, okay, well, what should I start with? So this term here is your first term. We call that F of one and F of one is five. So this means your first term is five. Okay. And now seeing this, I know, okay, I'm going to start with five as my first term and I'm going to keep adding four, keep adding four, and I can generate that sequence. Now, the next one I'm going to look at, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. The next one I'm going to look at is um, writing it as an explicit. Okay. So for the explicit equation, what we're going to do um, is you want to be able to put in, let's say four for the fourth term, okay, four, and get out your value. Okay, that's what you want. You wanna be able to get a 17 out if I put four into my explicit equation. So when you're doing your explicit equation, you're gonna start f of n equal, okay, just like this one. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna decide, well, what do you wanna start with? So if I wanna start with this value here, that is my first value, okay? That is my first value. So just need to understand if you're starting with your first value, we're adding four instead of n times, like I would for the term zero, it's gonna be n minus one. And that would be your equation. So again, I, if I start with the first term, which is five, I'm adding four n minus whatever term it is you have, one. So, for example, let's say I wanted to go backwards and figure out my, my um, zero. Okay, I wanna figure out my zero. So if I went backwards with this, let me just write, it would be five, nine, 13, 17. And again, this is my first term. This is my second, third, fourth. If I wanted to go backwards and find the term in front of that, this would be my zero term, okay? That's what we consider like our start, okay? When we say start. So if I was going backwards, I'm adding four going this way, but going backwards, I'm minusing four. And so that would be a one. So if I wanted to start with that, with my zero, then I don't have to do this N minus one. I am going to say F of N equals and I'm starting with this number here, one. Okay, it's my zero term. I'm adding four. And if you start with your zero, this is an N. If you start with your first term, then this is an N minus one. If I wanna be fancy and start with, let's say my 13 here. Let's say I wanna start with my 13. So I'm just gonna move this. I wanna start with my 13. I could write F of N equals and I could start with 13, I'm still adding four, but this time, how many am I off from my zero? 
I'm off one, two, three, because it's my third term, I'm off three. So this is gonna be an N minus three. So whatever term I'm using here, which in this case is my third term, then this is N minus three. If I'm starting with my first term, then this is N minus one. If I am starting with my zero term, then you can think of it as N minus zero, but N minus zero is just N. Okay, so if you go back to your zero, this is your basic, basic equation. Start with your zero, what are we doing adding for n times? As I move away one term or two terms, or in this case, three terms, then I make my adjustment. Okay, so now let me do an geometric one, okay? And actually, I'm gonna turn the page for that. Okay, so geometric, okay? So geometric, this is when you're multiplying or dividing, okay? Multiplying or dividing. I'll, I'm gonna put multiply or divide, but you really want to write it as a multiply, okay? We wanna write it as a multiply. So what do I mean by that? If I'm dividing by two, that means I am multiplying by one half. If I am dividing by seven, that means I am multiplying by one seventh. It's always the reciprocal, okay? Um, if I was dividing by 10, then I am multiplying by one over 10. Okay, this is when it's, when you, when it's really like a divide problem. Okay, it's getting smaller. Now, if I'm multiplying by two, then I multiply by two. Don't switch it to something like this. This is only when I'm talking about divide. Okay, so that's when I'm talking about divide. So this is just a little note. Okay, just so you guys understand that we don't want to write it as a division. We're going to write it instead as a multiplication. Okay, so let's say, for example, I have the following, okay? Here, I'm gonna keep that geometric in the video there. Okay, and so let's say I have, um, <laughs> let's say I have four, eight, 16, 32, 64, dot, 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 okay? And we're trying to decide, okay, what are we doing? What are we doing? So in this case, I am doubling, times in by two, right? Times in by two. So this is multiply by two. And if I'm multiplying by two, we call it our common ratio. Our ratio is two, okay? So then when I'm doing this and I'm gonna do my recursive, okay, I'm gonna do my recursive. Again, just like my, um, just like my arithmetic one, we start f of n equal f of n minus one, always, always, always. And then what am I doing? In this case, I'm times in by two, so I go times two. So again, what this means is if I want, for example, this is term one, two, three, four, five. This is my fifth term. If I wanted my sixth term, which is the one right after it, I would take the term before it, which is my fifth term, and I would multiply by two. So if I wanted the n term, the term before n is one less than n, so that's n minus one, and then I'm gonna times by two. That's all that that says, okay? That if you know the term before, take that term, multiply by two, and you're gonna get your next term. Now, again, there's a lot of sequences that are times by two. I want this sequence. So you need to tell me f of one equals four. Okay, my first term is four, recursive. Now for the explicit, okay, when you are multiplying, this is when you're gonna have your n and your exponent. In the arithmetic ones, when you are adding or subtracting, you don't have the n and the exponent. And the reason that is so is because as an example, I'm just gonna move this for a sec and just say, if I had five times five times five times five over and over again, I have one, two, three, four, 
this would be five to the fourth, not five times four. Five times four is 20, this is not 20, okay? Five times four is five plus five plus five plus five. That is going to be five times four, which is 20, okay? And here, I'm just gonna do this in a different color. So you can, I kind of wrote over that. So that is equal to five to the fourth. Okay, so this is five to the fourth. Five times five times five times five is five to the fourth. Five plus five plus five plus five is when we multiply five by four. So arithmetic, the N is not in the exponent. Geometric, your N is going to be in the exponent, okay? So when I'm back on this problem, um, explicit, okay, I'm gonna start by starting with my one. Okay, there's my one, my first term is four. So if I wanna start with my first term, which is four, I'm gonna start with four. And then what am I doing? Times in by two. And then to the power, it would be N if this had been my zero. It's not my zero, it's my first. I'm off by one. So if you start with your first term, this is gonna be an N minus one. If I wanted to do, um, let's say I use this term. Okay, let's say I wanted to use 64, okay? So if I'm using 64 and I'm starting with 64, I can start with 64. I'm still timesing by two, no matter where I am in the sequence, I'm timesing by two. But if I'm starting with 64, what term am I? First, second, third, fourth, fifth, fifth term. So that means this is gonna be an N minus five because I'm at the fifth term, I'm off by five. Okay, they don't look the same, but if I was to put in a number, I'm going to get the same thing. So let's say I wanted to get this term here, my fourth term, my fourth term should be 32. So let me put that into the calculator. Okay, I'm gonna put it into both of them. So I'm gonna go four times two raised to the power four minus one, and I got a 32. Well, what if I try it into this one? 64, whoops, 64 times two raised to, and again, I'm gonna put the four in because I'm trying to find the fourth term. And again, fourth term should be 32. So that's four minus five, I get 32. You get the same answer. Now, if I am the type of person who likes to go backwards and find my zero, so in that case, I have four and eight and 16 and 32 and 64. Again, this being my F of one, that being my F of one, my first term, okay? And if I wanna go backwards and find this term, which is my zero term, timesing by two going this way, dividing by two going this way, four divided by two is two. So if I wanted to, if I wanted to start with this, my zero, okay, and that's what we were doing at the very beginning, we were starting at our zero because we didn't know how to do it any different, okay? But if you wanna start your zero, okay, start at your zero too, that's your zero. What am I doing? Timesing by two, okay, remember, I was timesing by two, that's what I'm doing. So I'm still timesing by two, okay? So this two is, is my zero. This is what I'm timesing by, and then to the power n. Okay, so again, if I start with my zero, this is to the power n. If I start with my first term, then which is four in this case, then this is n minus one, because I start with my first term. If I start over here on my fifth term, okay, 64 times two to the n minus five, because I start with my fifth term. Hopefully this is helpful.